November, everyone. Thanks for tuning into our November wig report. So today's big announcement is that we are again certified a great place to work. This is the fourth year we've participated and the fourth year in a row that we have received this honor. And not only that, and this I think I'm even more excited about, uh, I knew we were a great place to work, uh, but we set another company record in participation, over 90%. That is absolutely amazing. So over 90% of our team members participated in this year's survey. And you know, ultimately working in our company and our communities is only as great as we choose to make it. We all play a part in making our communities a great place to work and live. So thank you for what you do. We'll be sharing the results in more detail and of course by each community, your community specifics over the next few weeks as we start to, to get into all of that. And what you should expect from us is that your local leadership, so your ED, your directors, your supervisors, they're going to go over the survey results and communicate to you the areas of opportunity that they will be focusing on within your community. We as a company will be doing the same thing as a whole. So big areas of opportunity that you know apply to each of our communities you know each year we have gotten better and I am excited to keep making this an even greater place to work so I have one last quick and exciting announcement to make today and that is that we had another month of increasing census and in not just a couple care settings or overall but every care setting. So in fact, we had the biggest climb in census of the year in October. It was a really great uh, census month for us. Overall census increased an entire percentage just in the one month, um, which brings us up to 83.5% total occupancy as a company. We are now well into the fourth quarter and continue to move in the right direction. For the past few months, we focused our leadership messages on priority management and being more effective. Being more effective and productive has been a core strategy of our company for quite some time now. We have to do more with less. And so another way we can equip ourselves to be better at this is through essentialism. This principle comes to us from a book literally titled Essentialism, a New York Times bestseller written by Greg. McCowan. The core principles of the book is focusing on what is essential, also known as most important. And so as we discussed last month, we only have the brain capacity to make so many decisions in a day without suffering from brain fatigue, which makes us, of course, less effective. Too many decisions makes us less effective. You may recall we introduced the Bezos method, and we did this last month, for making decisions faster and better. You know, think of essentialism as choosing to make less decisions and of the fewer or less decisions that we do make, ensuring that they are both important and impactful. Uh, one of the practices from the book is to simply focus on making one-time decisions that eliminate thousands of future decisions. So again, make one-time decisions that eliminate thousands of future decisions. A few practical examples of this and some kind of silly, you probably know them, uh, is that such as having a consistent or set wardrobe. Think of Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg. They didn't make um, a bunch of decisions every day what they were gonna wear, <laughs> made a decision up front, and then every day it was easy. One less thing for them to think about, one less thing to, to um, bog down their brain so they could focus on what was important, the big decisions, the important decisions. You know, there's meal prepping, very, very practical. You do that at the start of the week, so you're not wasting time cooking, decision-making um, throughout the week. One poor decision that eliminates future decisions, makes life easier. Another example, and likely the most powerful and important, is simply saying, no to non-essentials, saying no, possibly the most powerful and most important. I have the hardest time with this. Choosing not to take on new tasks or participate in new activities or meetings that are not the highest and best use of your time. It's something we all tend to do. So I'll wrap up there and leave you with two questions to ask yourself. The first is what decisions are you making day in and day out that you can put an end to or reduce through automation or less, but more effective decisions. So the second is what are you spending time on today that you should stop and say no to? We are highlighting the seasonally appropriate benefit of 
holiday pay. Tis the season for many holidays and to show appreciation for everyone that works the holiday in our communities, we pay one and a half times your hourly pay rate for all hours worked on the holiday. And so holiday is applied to Memorial Day, Labor Day, Independence Day, and the quickly approaching Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. They will be here before we know it, three weeks till Thanksgiving. And so I should also add that overtime, when applicable, is paid on top of this. So if you're working a holiday, you're getting paid time and a half. If you're working a holiday and you're going into overtime, you're getting paid time and a half overtime and you're getting another 50% plus of your hourly wage. That is a lot of additional money. And so there's no action necessary to receive holiday pay. Uh, simply works that if you're clocked in, working on those days, again, the ones that are coming up, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day, uh, that hourly pay, that holiday pay is automatically added to your paycheck. And so just to explain the impact of this, if you were to work an eight hour shift on all six of the holidays, the eligible holidays I mentioned, that is the same as getting paid a bonus worth 24 hours of extra pay. So you work eight hours, and six of those days, you're getting 24 hours of extra pay on top of the money you're earning um, working those days. So if you wanna earn some extra money this holiday season, this is a great way to do it. Katie has been with us a little over a year and a half and she has made such an impact in care services. She is people first always and we are just so lucky to have her. Team player and a go-getter and congratulations, Katie, well deserved. She is our schedule among many other things. I nominated Katie for one situation in particular. We had a team member that was in need of urgent assistance. I called her, she was at my side in five minutes, uh, willing to help at everything I asked her to do, she was there. Uh, she does so much more than scheduling and she does it with a smile on her face. So thank you, Katie, we couldn't do it without you. I like it here at Summit Hills because everyone makes you feel welcome. Um, our team is like a family, they work together, we you know, communicate, we do everything that you need at a job. Um, and we have really great people who want you to grow and continue to have a better life. Erica is that person who takes her job so serious, uh, but also has fun. She's the community encourager. She encourages our team to participate in the activities that we have going on, whether it be a pumpkin carving contest or um, some kind of decorating. She's always decorating the unit over on rehab. And she's just that person who, if you need help, she's gonna help. If she sees something that needs to be done, she's gonna do it. And um, that's just her nature. And it just shows every day in what she does. Erica is one of those coworkers you just enjoy working with. Um, she's always a pleasure. She always has a smile on her face. She has an attitude that so positive it kind of spills over into the floor staff um she'll do anything from changing a light bulb to plunging a toilet whatever it takes and then some she's an awesome team player um she helps out on the floor she helps out in maintenance housekeeping anything there is that she can help do she'll do it um and it's people like that that make you happy to come to work every day a nice smiling face to see when you get here. Um, and we're just blessed to have her as a part of our Wildwood Downs team. We're here to talk about Tiffany Owens, who is our major D in our independent loving of our community. She's just a remarkable person who always uh, ensures our members to live the weather lifestyle and, and always meets and greets our, our prospects uh, and provides, her, provides them with her intense statement. I had a prospect come in on a Saturday to meet with me for her and her husband, Harold, and he's currently in our um, rehab. Tiffany just sat down and um, was just interested in what, our, um, what Edie had to say. And I think that's the most organic and, and one of the best things that can happen, and that's what she did. She made Edie feel seen and heard and respected and really started building a relationship with her. And um, they sat there on the couch in the discovery room and just interacted with each other and connected with each other. And Edie opened up in such a meaningful way and started telling Tiffany all these stories about herself and about their life together and how they met and just, you could see her light up inside and out 
as she told some of the stories to Tiffany. Of course, Tiffany took the time to share about Brightwater Dining and you know the services that we offer and our dining dollars and our signature events. And at the end, this is what really touched my heart is that she said, you know, I love Brightwater and I've been here for nine years and we're family, we're a big family. And I hope that you and your husband, Edie, are gonna be a part of our family too. Thankful for Tiffany and thankful for the difference she makes in our community. Awesome work, heroes, and everyone for making our company a great place to work and live. We have two months left in the year. Let's finish strong by continuing to execute on our why and helping others live the weather life.